Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we are grateful and awestruck by the gifts of your goodness, the grace with which we live our lives. And yes, Lord, some of us are in really rough situations. If we're not going through it, we see people around us going through the worst things that can happen in life. The loss of loved ones, the loss of stability, the loss of the sense of self, the loss of control. Lord, we grieve all these things. But we do not ever have to grieve the loss of you. You give yourself to us in, in awesome parental powerful creator love that is beyond anything that we can accomplish in ourselves and yet as you have made us in your image you call us to the same thing this great sacrificial love so perfectly shown in your son our savior jesus christ who calls us to this same giving spirit that whosoever should lay down his life for his friends. Oh Lord, there is no greater love than this. And so we ask, oh Lord, how do we do it? Not that we should die, but that we should be so loving as to give everything that we have, everything that we are, to your praise and glory by caring for the people that are in our lives. And this is hard to do, Lord, because so much of what we are told to make our lives about, that we are trained, that we are raised up to make our lives about, is about some sort of sixth sense of self-preservation, putting ourselves first, even over all creation. Even if we might destroy creation, as long as we get what we want out of it, Lord, take us away from such deceptive selfishness. Teach us not to follow those beliefs that say that we can set ourselves against your will and be fine. That we can reason above the Lord of all reason and understanding. Lord, we pray for those who try to minister to that false news. Lord, we, we pray for those who in their political or an industrial or even household leadership have made their lives all about themselves, have made their work all about their work, and nothing about your glory is known of them. Lord, we pray for those whom we encounter day to day in life, from whom we feel no love of Jesus Christ. We pray for the emptiness of their souls. Help us to love them the least of these, those that are in the most desperate need, not those that are just poor, but especially those who are empty. Lord, we pray for those who in all the nothing that they've got, in the way they seem to have nothing going for them, still step forward to love you, to love one another, to care for those that are in their life, to work hard, bless them, Uphold them, restore them, renew them, and, and put them forward in our minds and in our hearts as examples to follow. Lord, teach us right from wrong, good from evil. That is more than our understanding, but is your living truth in Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Turning in God's word today, we turn to the to 1 John chapter 5, reading at verse 11. And this is the record that God hath given to us e eternal life, and this life is in his Son. See, we all want to live forever. Maybe not the life that we're, we're living. Maybe not the life of suffering, of struggle. Maybe not the life of ups and downs, rises and falls, maybe not a life of the mistakes that we've made. But we want to live an eternal life, a happy life, a joyful life, a life worth living forever. And 
John reminds the church that this is already a matter of record. That as God has given us eternal life, he has given us that eternal life in his Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And we don't have to look far for this, but we do have to look forward to it. We look towards where Christ is leading us, following his commandments to love one another, to care for one another, to if we would lead one another, we must become servants of all. Now that's hard for us, those of us who are used to being in positions of leadership by worldly standards. Those of us who, who lead in industry, those who lead in, 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 in methods of pro self-prosperity. But what the gospel of Jesus Christ teaches us, what the commandments of God in Christ teach us, is that self-interest doesn't govern all. But love for one another is what leads to that eternal life that is in Jesus Christ. God bless and keep you. Amen.